Sup Autistic Oddvox, it's me, and we're back at it again with another video. Today's video is a story about triumph, betrayal, sadness, defeat, all of those things, and very deep things. Today we're playing Super Meeple. narrator voices. Okay. This is Meat Boy. And this is Bandage Girl. She loves Meat Boy. And Meat Boy loves her. This is Dr. Fetus. Nobody loves Dr. Fetus. That's why Dr. Fetus hates you. But most of all, he hates Meat Boy. So he beat Meat Boy up and kidnapped Bandage Girl. This is what you have to do when you say the word wrong. What are you waiting for? Go save her. Hero! After a concerning amount of learning, like I don't know why it took me this long to learn like three mechanics, we move on to the second level. In this level we do a bit more learning and we learn how to wall jump off of walls. Um, it's pretty easy, just press A on a wall. Uh, then we move on to level three, which is our first death. While it's trying to teach us how to do the run jump thing to make you go faster and go further, um, I die three times not understanding what to do, then I finally get it right. I am very good at video game. Now we're moving on to level 4. Level 4 is now a level that's set up like the normal levels in this game. We're not learning the mechanics anymore. We're in deep. We're doing the levels now. So, uh... I just get through that. I get the bandage thing. You use them to unlock characters. I never get another one in this chapter. I might come back later and get them. Uh, okay, so we beat that level. Now we move on to level 5. So, on 1-5, uh, I go to the left to see if anything's there. Uh, no, it just kills you. So, I actually try the level as intended this time, except I fall down, so I kill myself, and then I come back stronger than ever. Uh, I go up the thing, then I'm halfway through, and I see this warp zone, so I go through it, and then it's like, WARP ZONE! And then, um, we go to this, like, retro Meat Boy or whatever, like, 8-bit looking thing. It's pretty fun, very cool. Uh, I fail, like, halfway through, so we go back to the normal level 5. Now I'm stronger than stronger than ever, um, and we get through the level. On 1-6, we have a bit of a casualty, I fall on my face, smash my teeth out, uh, then we go back to it and we destroy the level, but when we move on to 1-7, we have a death, <laughs> and then another death, <laughs> and then, and then we and then we're playing Runa. It's not death. It's a W. We get a win. We don't die. We get through the level. And then on 1 8, we do the same thing. We get a sword, blade thing, jammed into our skull twice. And then we get the Grey Day victory. Mwah. On 1 9, uh, we come across some walls that just break when I touch them, so we have to strategically move around them until it gets too much for me and I kill myself. Uh, so then we come back uh, from another lifetime and we make it through not getting overwhelmed by the strange walls. On 1 10, there's more of the wall touch breaky things, uh, but they're pretty simple and I get past them. And then on 1-11, there's 12 deaths because all of the platforms are wall breaky touchy things and I can't comprehend that 
who it breaks. Oh, oh, I can't make that jump. I died 12 times. 12. After the 12 deaths of my family and children and descendants, uh, one of them finally made it through. Uh, and it's all great. Uh, and we made it through the great day time. Yeah, speaking of 12, 1 12. You can laugh now. Um, there's a 1 12 in the warp zone. So I went through the warp zone and watched this cutscene of another like retro meat boy thing. And it was he, 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 this different guy, and his name is Commander Video. It was pretty cool. We made it through the parts. This time we made it all the way through it and unlocked the character. Um, he can float in the air, and it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. On 1-13, we make it to Tommy's cabin. I don't know who Tommy is, but his cabin's pretty messed up. There's a bunch of saw blades and stuff everywhere. I don't know why. Uh, I wouldn't like to meet him. I died once to him, uh, but then I made a past level. On 1-14, we make it to Blood Mountain, uh, with a bunch of more saw blades and stuff. But with some expert maneuvering, we make it through with a grade A tie. On 1-15, we make it to Cactus Jumper, which I don't think has anything to do with cactuses, but there is shooting saw blades that come at us kind of fast, and uh, my brain apparently made, thought that that was very hard to comprehend, uh, like that sentence, and it could not get past the soul blades, and I died like eight times. But then I made it through the level, so <laughs> on 1 16, uh, we encounter the shooting soul blades again, except they're a bit easier this time because, like, they're vertical um, and they don't shoot as fast, I don't think. So I made it through first try, grade A time. On 1-17, titled Morning Star, we make it to some more like rotating saw blade things. They were kind of easy to get past this time, but then I fell down, so I restarted the level by killing myself. And then I fumbled with my face and smashed my teeth out a couple times, but then we made it through. On 1-18, Alta Mont. We uh, encounter more spinning saw blades, except these ones, um, there's barely any platforms, so it's hard to do it, and I forget the timing, and I die, and then I die, and then I like, fall to my death, and I die, and then I, then I die again, but then, make it through, with a great A time. On 1-19, I started trying to perfect my gameplay on the I was making it through grace. And um, I was doing well. Until my mom told me to go to sleep because it was like 11 and I didn't realize it and I was just playing Meat Boy in the dark in my room. But I come back on the next day, guns blazing, ready to play some Meat Boy, and we perfect the level. We run through it with grace, like a baby deer, um, and we get through the level with what I'm pretty sure is. A great time. I think I got a great time. If I didn't, I'm gonna riot. Yeah, I, I think. On one twenty, we make it to the test, and this test is a test of what I've learned so far, and also a test of my mental strength, uh, because I'm really bad at it. So at the start, I try and get the bandage thing, but I eventually give up after dying like ten times. Uh, then, yeah, because I died to the shooting soul blade. I already haven't gotten enough PTSD from the shooting soul blades. Um, then we move on to the touchy breaky blocks. The touchy breaky blocks um, were very difficult for me to understand somehow. I don't understand how that long for me to get over the touchy breaky blocks, but I eventually did. And then we move on to the last section of shooting saw blades and touchy blokey blocks. You have to get the perfect time on this. And after a couple attempts, I finally got through the level. I think it was a great day time. Don't quote me on that, I don't know if it was, but I died at least like 36 times. 
after the test, we get the final exam of chapter one. It's the boss stage. But first, we've got to watch a little cutscene. So the cutscene starts off, Meat Boy determined as ever, and like walking up uh, to Dr. Fetus, and he's pouring gasoline everywhere, and then he lights a match on the gasoline uh, and burns the forest down, and Meat Boy is all like surprised. No, 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 the forest. Um, then Dr. Fetus gets in some machine thing with a massive chainsaw, and it's very scary. Um, then the level starts. We um, get crushed under his foot of the robot and uh, we die a bunch but this is this is where the triumph comes in this is where the victory comes in we, we do what we did with that one other level and we, we achieve mastery of this thing we're going through we're darting through this level we're getting the perfect placements of the thing it made me feel good bro i felt, I felt, I felt like so good we're playing through this level really good um and then um we made it to the end after a bit uh, Dr. Fetus, I think he like crashed into a wall or something, so we won't see him for a bit. Uh, and I think we got through the level with a grade A time, if I'm correct. Uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. Now we just go back to a bunch of other levels and uh, get grade A times on the ones we didn't complete with grade A times, except for one level. There is one level I just can't get through with a grade A time. No matter what, I cannot get grade A on this level, I actually don't know why. Alright, that's been all levels in chapter 1, except for level 7, completed with a grade A time. Uh, yeah, level 7, I even tried to come back later, like a, a couple days ago. I still can't complete it, it's actually like difficult to complete with a grade A time for no reason. Like, I was going really fast, but for some reason, you need like pixel perfect precision to get past it. I actually don't know why. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching uh, my video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye